So when we are evaluating novel anti-infectives, we have to address two things. One side is the bacteria, if they are planktonic or form biofilms. The other side is the presence of host cells, especially epithelial host cells, which form tight biological barriers. If these barriers are affected, how the immunological response might be. And with this new model, we can actually monitor both parameters at the same time. When treating bacterial infections, we have to realize what organ is affected. For instance, if it is the lung, we can take advantage and topically administer the drug as an aerosol. However, if we want to have a model for studying this, we need a model that also allows deposition of aerosols, which is the case in our model. The other advantage is that it's based on human cells so that we can avoid problems due to differences to animals and species differences. This system could give more insight to the field of infection research by shedding light on molecular and cellular events during the interaction of host cells and bacteria. When attempting this protocol for the first time, remember to check the cell medium for sterility and cell morphology and to be careful when handling the paramobile supports. Cultivate CFBE41 O- cells in a T75 flask with minimum essential medium containing 10% FCS, 1% non-essential amino acids, and 600 mg per liter glucose at 37 degrees Celsius with 5% carbon dioxide. Add fresh medium to the cells every 2-3 to three days. After the cells reach 70% confluency, wash them with 10 ml of PBS and attach with 3 milliliters of trypsin EDTA at 37 degrees.